So to start off the list, uh, we will be using or going with the Peacekeeper. I think the Peacekeeper is like a solid weapon. You know, it's it probably doesn't need to be changed or anything like that. You know, you can tap Devastators in the head. I think it's like three hits uh, to kill them, three, four. Uh, you can use it, but we're going to be talking about the Redeemer a little bit later. It really is just the Redeemer's younger brother that just doesn't have the fire rate, but it has very similar damage. Uh, so yeah. Uh, the next one we're going to go with is the Senator. The Senator needs some love. Uh, I'm going to be a little bit more kind to it than in previous tier lists. Uh, I'm going to probably put it around B-. Uh, I like the Senator. I like what it can do, but it just has so many drawbacks at the moment that it needs some more love. I love that it's medium pen. I love that it has a lot of damage or like alpha damage. So like you can one hit Devastators in the face, but it has a really bad reload speed. It has a very bad ammo economy, only 40 rounds in reserve, and you only get half reserves when you hit a yellow brick from a resupply stratagem, or even less when you pick up a brick off the ground. If they can fix some of the issues that I just talked about, I could easily see it being an A or S tier. Uh, the Redeemer, uh, easy S tier uh, for automatons as far as when you're comparing it to the other uh, sidearms in the game. Very strong. Uh, it put it in single fire. If you really have a hard time like holding down the trigger a bit too much, you can put it in single fire and you can essentially use it as a uh, peacekeeper, but with a larger magazine. Or you could just do little burst fires. That's typically what I use against Devastators is just little burst fires to the head. You know, you can kill them in like three rounds to the head. Uh, and because of the fast fire rate, you can be quite accurate when doing that. Uh, do recommend. Dagger is uh, C, trolling. It has unlimited ammo, sure, but it takes so long and you'd be so precise with it that you're most likely going to get aim flinched or killed in the time taken to kill something. It's just, it's very inaccurate due to movement. And I feel like with a lot of sidearms, you're not going to take the time to line up a shot and sit there for that long. You know, lining up a shot with the Senator is one thing, but lining up a shot with the dagger, then holding it in position to kill something. I almost want to put it in trolling, but I do value the fact that it literally has unlimited ammo. That is nice, as long as you're not overheating it. Going into our marksman rifles, uh, I want to start off with the diligence. I think the diligence is a solid, like, B plus A minus. Um, I, I want to put it more towards the B plus section because it's more of an early game marksman rifle. It's a, it's a solid performer, but it doesn't really do anything special, uh, especially now that the counter sniper diligence, uh, or the diligence counter sniper, in fact, has medium pen. So uh, I actually want to put the counter sniper diligence right next to it. It handles like an absolute boat, but it at least can one tap devastators very effectively. And for a very particular type of player, I can see them enjoying, you know, sitting, you know, 100 meters back turning up the scope magnification and just tapping devastators as they come towards them. I just don't think it's very viable for a lot of situations just because it handles like a goddamn boat. You have to be very deliberate with the movement uh, of the weapon because it just takes so long to acquire the next target, unfortunately. Going into SMGs, uh, this is actually a bit of a surprise one for me. The Knight was a weapon that I was actually disliking quite a bit early game, but the more that I used it with burst fire, the more I realized that it's actually quite decent. Put it in a burst fire. Give it a try. You'd be surprised. It actually does put in work and you can like one to two burst a Devastator in the face if accurate. And it does compete with the Defender. Moving into the Defender, I think the Defender is a solid A. I think it's a little bit better just because you don't have to worry about the burst fire. It just feels great. It's a, it feels really good uh, running and gunning and a lot of automaton missions have hard uh, hard drives that you got to run across the map with. I think the Defender does really well in those situations. Uh, if you're the hard drive carrier for your team, you get a lot of use out of it. Uh, if you're someone who uses the ballistic shield, you get a lot of use out of it. All right, uh, going into assault rifles, I would like to start with the Scythe. I think the Scythe is like a C- minus trolling weapon. Uh, I think you can do work with the scythe, uh, there's no doubt, but why would you use the scythe when the sickle exists? It's, uh, it's a really hard for one for me to justify. It doesn't seem to do really anything that the sickle doesn't do significantly better. It, it's just, yeah, the sickle just 
outperforms it in basically every way possible. That being said, uh, I think the sickle is like an A plus S minus weapon. I think it kind of depends. Uh, the only reason I don't really always put it in S minus is because it doesn't really do anything special other than the ammo economy. Um, it's it's a very good assault rifle. Very good assault rifle. The reason why I kind of push back is that medium pen seems to be uh, more and more important as time goes on. For instance, the new factory striders, to take out the miniguns in the front, you need medium pen. The scorcher can't even do that. So the dominator or other medium pen weapons really shine against the miniguns. Uh, just being, because like the most lethal thing on that strider is when, you, especially when you get close, is those miniguns. So being able to take them out in like one mag is super powerful. Uh, the ammo economy is absolutely amazing. If you don't agree with it, just put an S in your own tier list. It's fucking amazing. Love the sickle overall. Uh, I could easily put an S depending on the content you're doing, but I just find that the medium pen is very useful in the later game. Uh, the next assault rifle I would like to do would be, let's see, let's do the normal liberator. The normal liberator is going to go down to B tier. Um, it doesn't really do anything special. It, it gets completely outclassed by the sickle. It really does. Uh, lower fire rate, lower magazine size. Sickle, by the way, has 83 rounds in the magazine versus, I believe, the 30 or 45 of the uh, normal liberator. They, they need to give some love to it or they got to bring the sickle down a little bit. It's it's a good overall starting weapon, but maybe that's where they're just going to keep it. Who knows? Uh, Liberate Concussive is like the baby scorcher. Uh, I think it's probably somewhere middle B. Uh, a lot of people don't value it because it does so little damage, but it at least does the special things that the scorcher can do. Uh, so you can kill uh, uh, an ATRT, the, the scout striders, by just shooting their faceplate. You can kill a tank from the side of the tank turret um, very effectively. Uh, just like the Scorcher can. It really is just a baby Scorcher, but it's just its DPS is very low. So that's why I can't really give it as high marks as uh, its other variants. Um, maybe I might be too being a little bit too kind, giving it B. Maybe it's more of a C plus, B minus. But I, I can see the usage, but it just kind of gets outclassed in every way versus the Scorcher. You know, I think we're just going to keep it at B minus. Uh, that being said, next, the Scorcher. The Scorcher, I think, is the best overall uh, automaton weapon in the game is just so good against so many targets, tanks, devastators, tier one units. Uh, you can flank a, a turret and by the time you get through that mag, you can kill the turret in one mag. Uh, it's just so useful. Uh, un unfortunately, you can't deal with the new uh, miniguns on the uh, factory strider, but it's just so useful in so many situations. Scout strider, you're just hitting the front faceplate. It's very strong for that reason. Oh, Luna is coming into the frame. I'm just going to move her down there. Okay, uh, Liberate Penetrator, I think, is an A minus B plus weapon as well. Um, I think we're putting a little too much into the B tier. I think I want to put that a little bit lower uh, and just kind of jostle us around. Uh, Liberate Penetrator at least has medium pen uh, and it has the full auto setting now, which is very useful in bot missions. Unfortunately, it just doesn't always feel great because of how much recoil it has and the lower damage it has versus the sickle. Uh, also, it's competing against uh, a lot of other weapons that we're going to get into next, like the Dominator. If you're looking for a medium pen weapon, you're most likely going to lean towards some other options. Uh, I, I absolutely think that the Liberator Penetrator kind of hovers between the A and B section, though. Um, some people will like it a lot more, especially now that it has a full auto setting and they like the scope on it, but I, I find myself putting it more towards the B section unless you're like a very accurate shot and you can utilize the uh, medium pen versus striders effectively all the time. Uh, just to keep things a little bit more uh, balanced, I think we're going to keep it on A-, minus, but I think it very much balances on that teetering point between the two. Dominator. The Dominator, I think, with the recent buffs, has been an amazing tool going right into S tier. Uh, it, I think it's a little bit worse than the uh, Scorcher just because of the handling issues that it has. A uh, little bit of the bullet velocity. But man, as soon as you realize that the scope is uh, uh, zeroed out for about 60 meters or so, and in closer range you just shoot the, use the laser sight on it, 
you can start one tapping devastators in close range very easily same with the berserkers aim for that front face plate oh my god is it good especially every shot uh staggers a devastator or a berserker it's been a dream to use in automaton missions since the change it in many respects is even better than the old slugger surprisingly i, I didn't expect that at all uh side little note that i didn't mention about the dominator use it in first person it has almost no visual recoil or recoil at all like even just like bullet uh spread when you use it in first person shoot it against the wall you'll only notice a little bit of recoil i guess it would be that way to the left uh it has no vertical recoil for some reason when you go in first person and if you notice if you fire it in third person while aiming down sights there actually is more recoil it, it will feel better if you use it in first person highly recommend uh that going into shotguns uh the slugger uh, a lot of people have been asking me where do you put the slugger I want to say that the Slugger still deserves to be an A tier. I know a lot of people have been going really hard on it just because they have, you know, it can't open crates anymore. Uh, it has lower damage, um, very little stagger, but at least it still competes against other medium pen weapons. I still think it's a little bit better than the Liberate Penetrator, but I think some personal preference there. Some people will like automatic weapons versus your pump action weapons. It's absolutely not like a bad pick, but... I would 100% give the Dominator a try when going up against the Slugger. Now that the Slugger has a lot less stagger, uh, you're going to have to be more deliberate with your shots and absolutely hitting them. You can't really just body an enemy and just expect them to flinch backwards every single time now. Uh, so yeah, you got to be very deliberate with those shots. And uh, yeah, I, I, I do definitely think they went a little too hard on the Slugger. I think it should have at least some stagger per shot. And I, and I do hope that they give it back a little bit, but it's still very good. For a medium pen weapon, very strong. Highly recommend. Uh, next, I'd like to go into the Incinerary Breaker. This one's an interesting choice because there's currently a bug in the game with damage over times. If you are not the host, uh, automatons in general do not take damage over time. Until that is fixed, I absolutely can't recommend it. Uh, if you're curious about this damage over time bug... Uh, go into a solo match and try shooting a tier 1 automaton and watch them burn even after hitting one pellet. Then go into a random match made game with your incendiary breaker and shoot at an automaton tier 1 unit. And you'll notice they'll be on fire, but they don't die. It doesn't matter how many times you set them on fire. The only way they'll die is to the actual pellets hitting the enemy. So unfortunately, until they fix this bug for automatons, I can't recommend using the incendiary breaker by any stretch of the imagination. Uh, Breaker. I think the Breaker is a solid A tier. If you just need something that does big damage, burst damage, it's still quite strong. Um, it's not always the most useful for automaton missions, uh, just because you might feel like you need a little more range. But if you're aiming for that faceplate and you can get some good bursts off, you can kill Devastators quite quickly, even in close range. And it actually is still very good for the Berserker enemies that run at you. Uh, and you see a lot of those in the uh, Eradicate missions. So I would say B plus, A minus uh, territory, uh, depending on how far in the game you are. If you have all the other weapons unlocked, it, it's a very solid choice. If you don't uh, need medium pim, like you feel like you don't require it. Um, yeah, A, A minus, B plus. It's very strong. Uh, Breaker Spray and Play. I, I have a hard time recommending this one. I don't like how uh, how heavy it feels, and it actually has a larger pellet spread. It's definitely more of a bug weapon than a, a bot weapon. I, I think it can do some work if you like just spraying down enemies, but in your higher tier uh, automaton missions, you need more precision uh, that at least the breaker can do because it can mag dump a little bit faster. It has better DPS. And it's got a tighter aim cone. And also the, the handling difference. You know, some weapons can get away with bad handling, but I don't think this, the Spray and Prey really uh, does that in uh, Grey Stride. The Punisher, I, I absolutely love that. And I honestly would put it above the Breaker and maybe even put the Breaker down to B+, now that I put it on there. The, the Punisher has so much stagger still, and I think that's why they nerfed the Slugger was that they wanted the Punisher to have more of an identity of the stagger machine 
you can kind of just randomly fire it at groups of enemies in the distance and stagger them. It's kind of a support weapon at distance, and up close, it can still do a ton of damage. It punks a punch. Remember, aim for the faceplate no matter what, but uh, if you have some decent shot grouping, you can kill a lot of automatons quite effectively, and you're staggering them a ton. Uh, not the most useful overall just because it doesn't have medium pen like its bigger brother, the slugger, but... It's still an incredibly useful weapon, uh, especially for someone who's not as precise. Uh, the Punisher Plasma, unfortunately, suffers from similar things to the Senator, where the ammo economy really sucks. You only get half reserves on a yellow brick from a hell pod, and even less, a quarter reserves from uh, ammo on the ground. Uh, I don't know why they did it like that. It seems to be a, a legacy issue to the uh, Punisher and the Slugger. And unfortunately, the, the Senator has it as well at the moment. Uh, I do see its point. I love how much stagger it has. But unless you're someone that is very good at knowing the trajectory, you're very much limited to around 50 meters. Uh, it is nice that you can shoot over cover sometimes, not exposing yourself. And I do see the point for lots of stagger on like eradicate missions when you have a ton of eradicate uh, berserkers running at you in those. But I think I just have to put it in C tier until they give it more love or they give us some way to get more range out of it because it ineffectively does very similar things to the Scorcher, but with significantly less range and a, even worse ammo economy. I think you could put it in B tier and I don't think you should feel bad for using it or anything like that, but I can't recommend it for most players. I, uh, Arc Blitzer, I think, is a, a, is a trolling weapon <laughs> overall. When it comes to bot missions, it's got 23 meters of range, uh, unlimited ammo, but 23 meters of range. And if you get, if you run into a, like an HMG uh, Devastator just firing at you, the majority of the the shot seems to hit the shield, which like null and voids a lot of the damage. Uh, I just can't recommend using the Blitzer. It the Blitzer's good versus bugs, but just definitely not versus the Thaumatons. Um, going through the tier list now, is there anything I'd like to change now that I see everything together? I feel like I'm pretty happy with everything that I placed. Um, I'll just put a little like asterisk on, you know, this is just my opinion, uh, on things. Uh, I would definitely say that like, depending on play style, you could easily put things higher or lower. If you're someone who likes handling high handling weapons, I could absolutely see why someone would not value the dominator nearly as high. Or if you're someone who absolutely loves the ammo economy and never having to worry about primary ammo, you know, absolutely putting the sickle into like an S tier even higher than the Scorcher or Dominator, right? Absolutely, right? Um, hopefully we, uh, we can see eye to eye on those things. Yeah. If you enjoyed this uh, tier list, please consider dropping by the stream. I've been live while doing this. You can come join us in the discussion. Basically, right after this tier list, I asked the chat what they think, you know? Um, Give me your thoughts. Educate me if there's something maybe I missed. Um, also, consider liking, subscribing, commenting on the video. Maybe tell me maybe what I missed in the comment section. I'll be reading through them. Thank you.